the creation of the cosmos in six days, Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, Noah's flood. Here are stories that have long served free thinkers as prime exhibits in their contention that religion is merely a farrago of childish nonsense. This is why in roundups of the ancient texts that humanists are prepared to acknowledge as influences on their own beliefs, Genesis can pretty much be guaranteed never to feature. Yet humanists, I would argue, no less than Jews or Christians, are indelibly stamped by its influence. Indeed, one might go so far as to argue that if there is a single wellspring for the reverence they display towards their own species, it is to be found in the opening chapter of the Bible. 